okay good day guys you're welcome again to my channel and today i want to take you through how to have your pile foundation using your csc orion building design system software and um, i want you to pay attention as i take you through the process in simple steps in case you're joining us for the first time this is joshua the designer I create amazing content on structural engineering and engineering design at large and you would be doing well by like using the like button subscribing to the channel and also sharing this video and many other videos on our channel to your friends that should get better with structural engineering okay so straight into what we have for today okay so um this particular model you're seeing had been the one we've been using in the past um, few tutorial videos on CSE Orion and of course this is looking a little bit different because you see that I'm having about four stories here on this particular model that is to say when you are um, to obtain a Pi foundation design your story OO is your foundation floor where you're going to have your pile cap and your pile we all know that and but our story 01 will be where you obtain your where you have your ground beams and your ground slab yes yeah, so it's going to the design is going to be more like a suspended um, floor and a suspended slab yes yeah, so to say so story 02 will be your first floor and story 03 second floor story 04 just like that respectively okay now that we have gotten that we can start our designs properly now this we are seeing are the nodal loads for respective columns and how did i even get here so you can use this view settings and um, from there by the time you select what you want to view you can select g and you can select q okay let me do this so that you see i'll come back there and see how i got about that now i don't have it anymore yet so how did i get about that so you use your view settings then you select the ones that you want to make visible on your plans then you press ok so i have that now the essence of this is to um, be able to group your columns according to loading so that you would be um, working with uh, you'll be cost effective in your design and you wouldn't overload certain columns that um are not as heavy you know bearing um loads as heavy as some other ones so you wouldn't be providing unnecessary pile sizes or pile cap sizes for them okay so working with that knowledge now i can look into my designs and see what do i have i see that i have 879 873 879 so these are big close and um, we have 509 far from it 435 far from it 5 5 from it so we see that i can actually work with these three as i can see that the loadings are somewhat close so now I, i'll right click and insert my pie cap and you know that before you can do any of these you should be sure that your building analysis is up to date if not you need to run it and be sure that your building analysis is up to date because the load that you obtain as a result of your fe chase down analysis will be the one that will be catered for in your pile design okay now that my building analysis is up to date so i can go ahead right click and insert my pie cap now so now this is where we need to pay attention as an engineer you you're responsible to make changes here to manipulate and to create interrogative or interact with whatever things that you see here. okay so we have a pie cap data and i want to use a pie cap depth of one meters and um, also i'm using a y um why let me use y12 depending on you you are the engineer you may choose to use y16 and for the pile safe working load now this is what i have to say here as a designer before you can design 
and create solutions for your structures. You should be sure that you, are, you have a soil report that would provide for you the bearing capacity of the soil and the recommendation as to the foundation that will be suitable for the particular structure so that you'll be designing with the present condition on the site and you would not be throwing assumptions in the air which might create errors and problems for you and for the occupants in the nearest future so it is advisable as a designer that you work with your soil report and get the present condition the present so, um, particular soil capacity that is peculiar to the site you're designing for yes so um i would assume here that i'm using a bio, uh, a, a safe working load of 1072.7 so from the particular report i am working with that is recommendation so of which i want you to also um work with your own soil report peculiar to the site you're working with that's cool so the pie size i want to work with is 600 and um it's a circular kind of pie okay so that's cool so um also i am done here okay so for the loadings i want to use maximum load in all combination okay and my soil unit weight i leave it at 18 and my soil charge i use 700 so for your parameters the minimum number of piles i want is one and not two the minimum pie rows okay so i can leave that as two if you like you can put it one yes so and um pie length i'm using a 30 meter for my, the recommendation 30 meters pie length okay okay so i'm good then i can calculate now I'm done calculating. So let's see what I have. I have one meters by one meter pie cap, and the number of piles I have is one. So that's the solution I have for this design. Let's see. Okay, then you see what I have now. So I've provided accordingly. Okay, so I move on to this. I have five zero nine five one zero. I have this is far from it. Two seven six is far. So I have to set this fast for me. I have this close. I have this close. Far from it. Close and this is close too. This is far from it. So I can do this. I select this. And this. And this. And this. So I can create a pile cap for for those, and seeing that I have that a data that I've already um, input before now, so I don't need to begin to edit. Uh, um, apart from you come here to use your maximum loads in all combination peculiar to that particular pile cap you want to produce under those new columns. Okay, apart from that, you have no other things to change again. So you calculate for this so solution is still one meter by one meter per cap and number of pairs one so you can press ok and see what we have so we have that for that so also i can do for the remainder so seeing that i have almost the same load so i can right click then insert my pile cap then press ok then i can come to load and use maximum load combination and I calculate so I have one meter so that's it now I have a solution for my pile foundation for all my design so let us check what we have now so you see what we have so you see so I have my pile So I have this already so that is just a simple way of obtaining your your pile results so 
in case you want to come up with the result of your pile your pie cap and your pile you can just right click here and print pad and pile based results so you see this is what you have so you see saying single row pile selected x direction and y direction it failed it failed so it didn't pass okay you see that there's something to pay attention to there yes yeah, so this one let's see the re result oh sorry let's see print pad and something so fail fail single row pile selected for x y direction so it failed let's check the last one before we go and make amendment so the same thing single row pile selected for these and that so where are we going to correct it so you watch me so properties again then you see that when you get to parameters you see something like minimum pile rows and um, for this let's put one and calculate so this is single row pile xx so once we increase you see that it passed and i increased this one so so it has passed on all sides so but this one is demanding for three numbers of files so that's all right okay and um for this one f2 let's try the same thing so the same thing so it has passed then f1 properties we have this and this fail so it has passed now so okay now i can come back to show my my results and see you see that we don't have any failure on that side any longer so that is how to go about your your pile foundation designs here yeah, so if you have any question as touching this particular video or some other things on csc orion building design system you can use the comment section and i'll be there just to give you your answer as soon as possible thank you for staying around please don't forget to use the like button subscribe to this channel as we'll be releasing amazing content even afterwards and share with your friends that should get better with structural engineering i am your your favorite structural designer just the designer. We'll see you very soon. Bye.